you recently tweeted something that that made me stop and think and I, and I knew I had to ask you about it. Um, you tweeted that you stopped making business decisions based on emotions. Yes. What what was that about? Oh, man. Uh, so a lot of times I've, I've noticed that, at least for me and my experience, we we make you can make business decisions off of what you feel. Like I feel I should charge a hundred dollars, but my customers are telling me I can only do this. Like I want to support you. I'll share your, you know, repost your tweets or, you know, comment on Instagram, but I'm not going to be able to support your business because for where the customers that I have right now, currently where I'm at, they are telling me, Hey, I can do this range. And so my mindset before then was like, well, I got such and such on this song. So that means I need to change my price or somebody told me I should change my price because I'm worth more than that. When the data, the analytics, all the stuff is saying, no, this is not what's working for you, buddy. And I think when, when you go off so much on feeling, you start to make decisions that sometimes don't make sense for that time. So it's not to say that I can never charge a certain price um, or have a certain price point or get customers that are, paying that price point it's just right now that's not where my business is at that's not where i'm at in regards to um my my branding or whatever so uh when i said that you know taking the emotion out of it it's more so just not just making decisions because i feel like that's the right thing to do and actually looking at what does the data tell me is the right thing to do um and what are my customers telling me to do because those are the ones who are paying for stuff so yeah, what what would you say is some of the the most helpful customer feedback that you've received throughout the years? Um, the biggest thing, and this isn't a knock to myself, uh, the biggest thing is people really like my personality, and I believe that's why my business has done so well is due to the fact of just me as a person. Uh, because obviously, you know, my beats aren't terrible. However, I do know that me i i kind of sell the product you know um so i definitely have gotten feedback that i just care about people uh which i think is important anyway um but i i try to provide as much value as i can to artists um i you know do things like live reviews and different resources that i've given artists over the time that i've had my business so that's the biggest feedback is just that i provide value and people feel like they can connect with me um and that's been working for me so i continue to do it 